Welcome to Physics Pathfinder. Today, we are going to solve a circuit step by step using Kirchhoff's laws. So let's start. Before we start the session, let me remind you to like and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get the regular updates. So let's start solving a circuit using Kirchhoff's laws. So let's see how to apply it step by step. Step one, if this is the circuit that is given to you, you can see that this circuit has a junction. Junction is where the current splits. You can see here it has junction one and junction two. So identify the junctions and identify the loops. There is one loop which starts from a battery and ends to the same battery. There is a second loop again here. So identify the junction and loops. Then for each loop in the circuit, give name to each current in each of the resistor in the loop and show its direction. So if I see here, for the loop one, the current flowing through trend ohm resistor let it be I1 and you can decide the direction of current of your choice. I have decided to give it as I1 going from the plus till the junction. So till the junction, the current is going to be the same. The current passing through the 20 ohm is a separate branch. So it is a separate current, which is I2. The current flowing through the 1.5 volt battery is again a separate current let it be I3. I have given the direction like this. It's your choice to give the direction. The only difference would be a negative answer would come for electric current, which is 5. Now comes the rule. That is the sum of current entering a junction and leaving a junction is equal to 0, which is the first junction law. That is sum of the currents entering and leaving is equal to zero. So you can see here current I1 is entering. So I1 is equal to the ones which are leaving, which is I2 plus I3, which can be written in the form of an equation as I1, which is entering is positive. The ones leaving the junction can be taken as negative. So I1 minus I2 minus I3 is equal to zero. Currents entering a junction can be taken as positive. Exiting a junction can be taken as negative. And together, everything is equal to zero. So the charge conservation, that is number of charge entering is equal to the number of charge leaving. So this is the first law which has to be applied. So this is your equation one. Let's go further. Indicate the direction in which the loop has to be traveled. So it's your choice. I have decided to move loop one in the clockwise direction and loop two in the anti-clockwise direction. So decide the direction in which you would like to traverse each of the loop. Next, the law of conservation of energy, that is energy in is equal to energy out. So this summation is equal to zero. How can we do this? For each cell or a battery that has a voltage V is counted positive if you travel from the negative to the positive. So while traveling through the loop here, I am going in this direction. So I go from the negative of the battery to the positive of the battery. So the battery voltage is positive. If I go from the positive of the battery to the negative of the battery, the battery voltage is negative. Which terminal do you end up with? That is the value of the voltage of the battery. Next, if you move in the direction of current, you can see here clearly, if you move in the loop in the clockwise direction, you are moving in the direction of I1. If you are moving in the direction of I1, the potential across the 10 ohm resistor is negative. Same way, if I go in the loop here, 
the potential across the 20 ohm resistor is also negative and the total is equal to zero. Let's start with the second loop to understand the equation. Again, since I'm going in the anti-clockwise direction, I'm going in the direction of I2. So the voltage across 20 ohms is negative. V is equal to IR. So the current is I2. Resistance is 20. So can I tell minus 20 I2 And while moving upwards, I am ending up with a positive terminal of the battery. Minus 20 I2 plus 1.5 is equal to 0. Rearranging, can I get I2? The I2 is 1.5 over 20, which is 0 0.075 amperes. You can have a look once. If you move in the direction of current, the voltage is negative. If you move in the opposite direction of current, voltage is positive. That's what is in the rule two. For resistors of value V, which is equal to IR, it is negative if the resistor is traveled in the direction of current. If you're traveling in the direction of current, energy is lost. And it is positive if you travel the otherwise, the other direction. Similarly, we are going to work on the loop one. If you can see here, pause and try to solve. If you see, you're moving in the direction of current from negative to positive. So this is three volt is positive. You're moving in the direction of current. So the voltage across 10 ohms is minus 10 I1. You're moving here in the direction of 20. So minus 20 I2 is equal to zero. So check here. I already know the value of I2 from the previous step. Substitute the value of I2, solve so that I get the final answer of I1, which is 0 0.15 amperes. You can try to solve it. Now you can go back to the last point where you are using the current equation. If you see, the junction equation tells you that the sum of current in is equal to current out. I1 and I2 is already known. If you substitute the value, you get the value of I3, which is exactly same as I2, 0 0.075 amperes. I1 is 0 0.0, I1 is 0 0.15 amperes, and I3 is also 0 0.075 amperes. Hope you have understood how to apply Kirchhoff's laws and solve a basic circuit. Like and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get the regular updates.